This is part eight of our web design series in HTML, and we're going to look at how we can create lists in our HTML document. Maybe you want to create a bulleted list, or if you want to create a numbered list, how do we create those lists in HTML? So let's take an example. Let's say we want to list the details of what it takes to make some potato chips. So there we go. We've got a nice little three instructions, um, and we want to have those little points at the front like we would in a Word document. Well, with HTML, we need to have a tag that says this is where the list starts, and that is the UL tag. And UL stands for unordered list, because bullets don't have a particular order, they're just points. So this is an unordered list. So you use the UL tag at the top, and then you need to specify when the, the whole list, not each item, when the whole list ends. So that's why we will have a close UL tag right at the bottom of our list. So that defines when the list starts. And when the list ends now HTML doesn't know when to put the bullet or when the bullet ends it doesn't know that the word wash must have a bullet in front of it and, and the next one is the word cut how does it know that well we need another um, tag which is called the list item tag or LR tag and that specifies where the bullet will start and then that bullet will end when we close the list item there at the end of the word potatoes so there we can see that's the start of the bullet and then the close LR is where we end the bullet. And you need to do that for each and every item in your list. And so that's how you do a bulleted list. Unordered list tags to the top and the bottom and then use the list items inside for each and every bullet. Now that's great. Now what about a numbered list? Well, let's say we wanted that exact same scenario but we wanted it in a numbered format. Well, you can do pretty much the same thing. It's pretty much the same style. You're going to have where you define your list starts and when it ends and where you start and end each individual item in the list. The difference is you do not use a UL tag in this case. You use a OL tag because this is an ordered list. So that's why we use the OL tag. So it's exactly the same scenario as that. So use the OL tag for that. Now, in um, HTML, you wouldn't actually put the one and the two and the three in there. So you, we actually, I'm taking them out now. I just wanted to show you what it would look like. But that's actually what it would look like in your HTML. You don't have to put those numbers in because the OL will put the numbering in for you. So there is actually what an ordered list would look like or a numbered list. Now, there are a couple of attributes that we're going to learn about these um, at, uh, bulleted lists and uh, numbered lists. Um, actually, there's only one attribute that we're going to learn, and that is the type option. And you can specify for a bulleted list, you can specify the type is a circle. And if you do that, that'll change the bullet to an open circle. So there's nothing inside the circle. So it's slightly different to the default one. So that's if you want that particular bullet. Maybe you want to make it squares. Then you can say the type equals square, and then it'll make little square blocks in front of each particular item. The bullets will be little squares. And then you could say, disk and if you use the word disk that will be like what the default is, is those round circles where they're, they're actually colored inside so that's the different options if you want to use them but the disk one's the default one now with a numbered list we also have the top option but there in the top option we need to give it the, the value for whatever's going to be the first option in the list so by default the first options are one so that will be a one two three four but we could change it so we could say that the first top of an ordered list is the letter A. Then it wouldn't go one, two, three, it would go A, B, C. So that's a lot nicer as well if you want to change it to an alphabetical list. But maybe you don't want the capital A, maybe you want small a is like a multiple choice question type thing. Well you can just say type equals small a and then that will do the list in small letters. Another option you could say type equals R. Now that's not going to start at R and go R, J, K, no it won't do that. R represents Roman numerals. In that case, you'll go R, 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 and then R, V, and so on and so on. Okay, so that'll be a Roman numeral numbered list. Um, and again, just like we had with the letters, if you used a small R, you would then have the Roman numerals, but in small letters. Okay, so that's the basic format of our numbered lists. So let's go try, and, and bulleted lists, let's go try them out in HTML. So over here, I've already included a list of uh, topics that I want to have in a some sort of list. So I said videos include, and I want to have these items in some sort of list. And you can see already, it does not display it like that at all. It just puts it one after each other. Okay, so let's go do the list. So I want this to be my list. So this is going to be the start of my list. So I will use the UL tag at the top, 
and then at the bottom we will close the ul tag so that's the end of my list beginning and end okay so let's save it let's just see what that looks like so it indents it a little bit but it's still not saying what each item is for the list so it doesn't know because we haven't used the list items so we're going to use a list item for the first part of how to get started and then we will close the list item at the end and we pretty much will try and see what that looks like first let's go problem and there you can see we've got our nice little bulleted item there and then the rest don't have bullets because we haven't given them any list items but you can start to see how it's starting to form so i'm just going to work smart here and just copy this and paste it every time in front of each of these options that's great and then we need to close at the end of each of these options so i'm going to just paste these at the end of each one so that we know when each bulleted item ends so let's save and let's refresh. There we go. So I've got a much better looking list over there for my videos that I want to include. Now let's go try those types. So we said let's try type equals a circle. So type equals to circle. There you can see that the list is now got hollowed circles. And if I said square, It would make little square little blocks there. It actually colors the blocks in, as you can see there. Okay, now maybe I don't want this. Maybe I don't want it to be an unordered list. Maybe I want it to be an ordered list. Then I can just change those OLs, or the UL, sorry, to OLs. So there we go. Get very confused between the OLs and the ULs, but that's an ordered list. So about just changing those ULs to OLs, that's the only thing I've changed. I took out the top, but because there's obviously no disk in an, in an ordered list, but OL, there we go. Let's look. Boom. There you can see, even though I've got no numbers in front of mine, there they've added the numbers. And then I can change here. Let's change the type to a capital A. And let's see what that looks like. And now my list is in A, B, C, Ds. And if I make it a small R, now I want it in Roman numerals. Now you can see small letter Roman numerals. So there we go. So that's the basic gist of how you can create a list or a bulleted or bulleted list or a numbered list in your HTML document. This video was about lists and you can find a whole list of more videos at our YouTube channel. Click on that subscribe button, leave a like, leave a comment so you can find out whenever we post new ones. And remember, don't do it the long way, do it the Mr. Long Way.